Today on Operation Build, our mission is to help the Myers family achieve the American dream. First, we'll help them secure a great rate on a mortgage for a bigger home. Then we'll make sure that home, their belongings, and their family are safe and secure with a great do-it-yourself solution for security. And finally, we'll improve the overall look and air quality of their home by deep cleaning their existing carpets, saving them thousands. All this coming up on Operation Build. I'm Alexi Panos. I love working as a model and TV host, but when I'm not here on set, I live a completely different life. We are turning extreme situations into extraordinary results. Our mission is to innovate, renovate, and elevate the lives of people in need. This is Operation Build. To own your own home and lay down roots is part of the American dream. For couples like Laura and Randy Myers, saving for their dream home took years and outgrowing the apartment they were living in caused them a lot of stress. So tell me about your current situation right now. Well, we've been renting seven years and we've outgrown this space, okay? Uh, we now have two children and we don't have room anymore. We need to expand, we need storage, we need a kitchen, don't we? I would love a bigger kitchen. <laughs> I bet. So the time is now. Well, you've definitely done your due diligence. You've got all your financial papers here. You've saved a great down payment. Yeah, I think we've uh, we've done what we need to do or what we've been told to do, but now it's time to put our trust in someone else, an expert, and take us the rest of the way. Take us home. Absolutely. Well, I have got someone assigned to this mission that is going to simplify the process. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> that would be great. We need it. Great. And we've got some houses for you to look at. Ooh. Awesome. With big kitchens? Yes. That would be great. <laughs> we want to make you happy. If the wife's happy, you're happy. Hey, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> After much searching and planning, the Myers dream finally became a reality. But then, it was time to figure out the best way to pay for it. No matter if you're a first-time home buyer, looking for a larger home, remodeling, or you want to refinance, the mortgage process can be a little intimidating. But it doesn't have to be. Enter Scott Bristol, who is the president of Prime Lending, a Dallas-based national mortgage lender with hundreds of branch offices across the nation. With the economy improving and interest rates remaining low, this seems like the best time for Laura and Randy to buy the home they've always dreamed of. They can't wait to be homeowners. And this is the perfect assignment for Scott, as he understands the frustrations that go along with buying a home and trying to secure a mortgage. So what are the benefits of buying versus renting? The benefits of buying versus renting, really there's three main ones. The first one is your payment will probably be similar or maybe a little bit higher than your rent, but you're gonna be building equity. And so what I mean by that is as you pay the loan down, your balance comes down, hopefully the value of your home is rising and that difference is gonna be equity that you can access in the form of a refinance or a home equity loan or potentially even selling the property. And then the third, of course, check with your tax advisor, but on most mortgages, the interest is tax deductible. That's great. And the beauty is with that equity, you can take that out and remodel the home, you can dress it up to your liking. That's right, it's cash. You can do whatever you want with it. Absolutely. So what would you tell potential homeowners to, to really understand before they go into finding mortgage? You know, there are some pieces of paperwork that you can be prepared to have to show, and that would be two years of W-2s, uh -huh. uh, 30 days of pay stubs, and your most recent bank statements. Along with that, when you make application, you can expect to get a, a good faith estimate. And that good faith estimate will label out all of the charges that you can expect at the closing table, and they should be very similar from good faith estimate all the way through to closing. And now comes the hard part, filling out all those pages of the application. Where do you begin? For first time home buyers, like our first time home buyers, which is why we called you in, they've got so many nerves wrapped up in this. This is their American dream. This is their first thing that they're gonna do together as a couple, and it's a big deal. Yeah. So what would you say to ease the fears of people like them? I would just say, you know, don't deny yourself. Think that you can qualify. Talk to somebody before 
you decide that you can't qualify for the loan, there are a number of things that you can do to make sure that you're ready and a good loan officer will help you with that, such as making sure that you have a maintenance and repair fund set up. Mm -hmm. A good rule of thumb is that should be about 2% of mm -hmm. the purchase price. That's great advice and I'll definitely pass that forward. What about people who are watching who maybe are in a mortgage that are looking to refinance or change it up a little bit? I know that process can be a little overwhelming as well. It's a very simple process and typically it's a lot less mm -hmm. stressful because you're already in the home. Yes. So you're not under the time deadlines. But you know, there are can be a lot of benefits to refinancing from lowering your monthly payment to shortening the term on your loan. Well, thank you so much. I can't wait to share this information with our home buyers. I know they're super excited to get into their new place as well. We're excited to get them in as well. This house is kind of amazing. It's incredible. You guys are homeowners. Oh, finally. Finally. <laughs> How do you feel? Oh, we feel amazing. The, the, this is our dream home. That's great. And you have the space you wanted. Yes, we do. Everything we need. Great. Now, Scott helped me out so much to help you guys out with the lending process. How was it? You know, it was stress-free. They did all the heavy lifting, and we just went along for the ride. We do it again in a heartbeat. Awesome. My plan worked. It did. <laughs> now, what about the kitchen? Amazing. Love it. Yeah, good. We got you your dream kitchen. Yes. All the room you need. Exactly. And I've got two other surprises for you, so come follow me. Though. Fantastic. Once approved for their loan and able to comfortably manage the payments, then the joy of settling in makes it all worthwhile. Mortgage history dates back to civilization, but the modern mortgage didn't come into being until 1934. With the support of Scott and Prime Lending, we were able to help our family secure a great rate to mortgage their new home. Now it's time to secure their new property with a DIY solution that makes home security both simple and affordable. Every 15 seconds, a burglary takes place in the United States, and residential properties account for 74.5% of all burglary offenses. Your home should be your safe haven. And these days, many homeowners opt to take extra measures in securing their homes. The latest way is to do it yourself. Laura and Randy are very interested in securing their new home and would like to learn more about the latest technology. I asked Dan Kelly, who is the Vice President of Marketing at D-Link, to team up with us and show us an easy way to install your own security system. D-Link is a leading technology company that creates and produces smart security products for the consumer who wants to be a part of the installation and monitoring process. Dan, can you expand on why home security is so important these days? Well, home security should be top of mind for any new homeowner, and there's a lot of common sense things that you can do to keep yourself more protected. Like say you're going on a trip, you're going away, you wanna make sure that your house looks lived in, so you don't post on social media that you're, li you know, you're leaving, yes. you wanna put automatic timers on your lights, tell your neighbors to take your trash in and out, pick up your newspaper. But one of the best ways to keep your home protected is actually to install a home security system. And there's a lot of DIY ways to do that, where you can actually go down to your local retail electronic store or buy online, pick up these security cameras, install them wherever you would like, and then have complete control of your home right from your phone so you can always know what's going on at your home and get that extra sense of peace of mind that everything's okay. So Dan, tell me about the security features of your cameras. Well, home security is important to any homeowner, anybody who has uh, someplace they want to protect. And a lot more people want to do it themselves because you can keep an eye on your home right from your smartphone, get alerts if motion is detected, and really get a complete control over your home security right from the palm of your hand. That is so cool. Now, what's the difference between a D-Link system and a traditional home security system? Well, the traditional security systems have been around for a long time, and it is there are benefits to those systems. Mm -hmm. They'll come out, they'll install the products themselves, and they'll actually put you into typically a two or three year contract. So they're gonna be a more expensive option yeah. for home security. But what we're talking about here today is there's a very easy DIY, more affordable way that you can customize and build to own your own security system. And you can get additional features like outdoor cameras, pan and tilt so you can cover a wider area. You can really customize and personalize your home security system and again, have it all right there in the palm of your hand. You keep mentioning DIY. Is it really easy to install? 
Now, if you've installed any you know, device like a printer, et cetera, you can install these devices. We have setups that'll walk you through. And again, it's gonna connect your wireless network just like any other device would. Free app, just like any other app that you use on your phone. And it really is a great way to take control of your home security for your new home. Well, the features sound great and I'm really excited to get it in. So let's get started. Okay, so for our homeowners, we want to make sure the front of their house is secure. Absolutely, and this is a great spot because you got the, the entire view of the driveway as well as the front entrance. Plus it's up high so that it's going to also prevent from anybody grabbing the camper or trying to tamper with it. Yeah. And there's power nearby, which is always a plus. So you can see we've already mapped out our holes, yeah. so I think we can get to the install. Great, so I've got the base plate here, and we're just going to throw it on, right? Absolutely. Okay. Great, all right, and twist on. So this really is quite easy. Yeah, and then once you've found your desired location of where you want to oh, point it. Wait for that. All right, this model looks really cool. Absolutely, this is our HD pan and tilt. So you can, again, place these anywhere in your home. It's gonna connect to the wireless network just like any other device would. But the great thing is that it can move all the way left and right and up and down, and you can do that right from your phone. So you can really cover a wide viewing area with these cameras. Wow, so I could be in New York City and be operating it and seeing my house in California. Yeah, whether you're down the hallway or you're in New York City, you can pan and tilt this camera anywhere to get a much wider viewing area of your home. Wow, so they've got the outdoor one installed, which is a great way to keep an eye on the outside of the house, the front of their house, and now this is obviously seeing their whole front entrance from the inside. Yeah, so you can keep an eye on, on this one. You can actually look at the back door and the front door at the same time, literally, because you can just pan and tilt it right back and forth. It's incredible. And installation is as easy as plugging it in. It's just like what we already showed. It's just you plug it in and you connect it to the wireless network, use our free app to then pan and tilt and take control of your home. So how can homeowners record the footage? Well, there's a couple options there. This model actually has a, a slot on the side that you can put a micro SD card in, just like you would a digital camera. And it's going to store all of that footage directly to this camera itself or playing back anywhere. But we also sell USB devices that you can just plug in a hard drive and record all of the footage from all of your cameras on your home network and then play it back at your leisure whenever something happens and you want to know what happened. You know what I like about this a lot too is, first of all, it's DIY. I can go to the store and pick it up and get started today. But there's no monthly fee, which is kind of great because it's a one-time purchase, one-time buy, and then for the rest of my life, I can use it. That's the benefit of doing a DIY uh, solution with the D-Link cameras. You just go buy and build as you like. Just go down to the store, pick one up, add it to the network, and there it is. It's going to show automatically up in your app, and you're good to go. That is so cool. So we've got some movement on this now, and we've got one more to install upstairs. So let's get that started. Let's do it. We knew it was important to Laura and Randy to keep an eye on the back door. So for this last camera, this is one of our indoor versions. We actually just placed it here on the windowsill and you can see it's pointed directly to the back door. That's great. And what about nighttime? Well, all the cameras that we've shown today all have automatic night vision. So when the lights go down, infrared kicks in and you can automatically see in complete darkness. Very cool. And this isn't mounted, but it can be, correct? Yeah, for this one, we just plugged in, connected it, and you can now see it in the app. But if they come and they want to actually have it in a different location, they can just unplug it mount it, plug it in somewhere else, and it's gonna automatically connect back to the home network and be good to go. That is so easy. And you know, I can't thank you enough. I, I know for our family, they're new homeowners and they've got two young kids. I think this is really gonna make them feel safe and secure. Absolutely, we're happy to help. And like you said, if you're a homeowner, you have kids, you want that peace of mind to know everything's okay. And this is a great way to customize and personalize a home security system. Awesome, well Dan, I've got a few more things up my sleeve to do before they get home. So I've gotta get back to work. So thanks again. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, wow. <laughs> so this is a home monitoring system. We've got your whole front of your house covered. We've got cameras in the back, cameras in the inside, checking out your door and the whole living room area. I've always wanted one of these. Yeah, and the coolest part, no monthly fee. I've never even heard of that. I know, and even cooler, this is my favorite. We set you up with an app that literally you can wow. control and see your entire house from anywhere. So this you can be in a fantastic. different state. That's awesome. Isn't that cool? It's so great. Check up on the kids, check up on the house if you're away. Awesome. Total peace of mind. Definitely. Awesome. All right, so head back inside because I got one more surprise for you. Oh, thank, <laughs> thank you so you. much. You're welcome.
It's simple, it's high tech, and it will add value to their home. Even more, now that their home is more secure, the Myers can rest even better with peace of mind. Overall, the average dollar loss per burglary offense, over $2,200. Yesterday, we took on home security and safety with a great DIY solution for the Myers. Today, it's all about upping the air quality and value of their home by cleaning their existing carpeting and rugs. It's Rug Doctor to the rescue. Let's take a look. Homeowners like Laura and Randy Myers know how difficult it is to keep carpets looking nice. They love having carpeting in all their bedrooms. But keeping them clean and fresh is a daily challenge. Chris Hurt is a product expert with Rug Doctor, a 40-year-old company that specializes in consumer carpet and rug cleaning machines and products. So you can see the Myers just moved in mm -hmm. and they've got a lot of existing carpets, some of it in great shape and some of it not so much. <laughs> That's why I brought you here. Exactly, so we wanna do this as cost efficiently as possible, obviously. Well, the nice thing about carpets is that they can look clean uh, even when they're really not. So we have to be careful. We've got a machine here that will do a good job of extracting pollutants, pollens, things that come in through the windows or on the bottom of your shoes. Carpet can look great, but I think you're gonna be surprised at what we can pull up from a seemingly clean carpet. Your carpet is basically working as a super air filter wow. in your home, and it's collecting all those things. We just have to extract it so that the air quality inside your home is staying good. Wow, so we brought this machine and a couple others to do that, right? Exactly. <gasps> Excited, so how often do we have to clean them? The EPA recommends that you do it at least once a year, but you know, in all honesty, that's gonna depend. If you have pets, uh, once a year is probably not gonna be enough. You two, three times a year would probably mo be more like it. There are studies from the EPA and the Carpet and Rug Institute that show good carpet will actually enhance the air quality of your home. And then of course, there's the problem of pets and carpet. Not always the best combination. All right, Chris, I found a little housewarming gift that was left for the Myers. <laughs> <laughs> something tells me they don't want this kind of a gift though. No. <laughs> we actually have something that works beautifully on this. It's okay. a urine eliminator spray from Rug Doctor. Okay. And we spray this area liberally. This is very simple to use. And then we just lay a paper towel that's been dampened with water lay it over the top and just sort of blot it in, just like that. Now, why does it have to be moist? Well, it's a good question. The moisture in the paper towel activates the pro-enzymatic uh, action in okay. the spray, and it actually essentially eats the stain and the odor. We come back tomorrow morning after letting that sit overnight, and we're done. And it minimizes the chance that any animal's gonna come back to that same spot, too. That is really cool. Yeah. Well, I saw a few more, so. Next. <laughs> what about spills and accidents? Can the carpet or rug be saved? So, this is what I noticed. And I don't know, uh, juice? Breakfast maybe fell on the floor? Exactly. <laughs> well, this is one of those instances, you know, we talked earlier about the fact that you deep clean your whole house once, maybe twice a year, so that the carpet is always keeping your air quality good. What do you do when life gets messy in between those times? Right, which is often. Exactly. <laughs> this machine, the Rug Doctor Portable Spot Cleaner, is perfect for that. Great. We're ready to go. All we have to in here is clean hot water uh -huh. and our Rug Doctor cleaning solution. We plug and go, if you will. Okay. Turn that on. Yeah. like you're ready for action? I am. <laughs> so we're starting here in one of the kids' rooms, and what I've done is basically fill our clean water tank with a solution of hot water straight from the tap and our Oxy Steam. And uh, all you'll need to do to turn it on is hit that button, okay. squeeze the trigger, and pull back slowly over the carpet. Now, it will be interesting to see, Alexi, this carpet actually looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna be surprised, though, at what we extract out of it. I'm excited to see it. All right, all right so turning it on. What's important is regular maintenance combined with the right products can keep your carpets and rugs clean and a healthier home is a happier home. 
third and final surprise is not only this machine, but what we did with it. So we knew that you kind of wanted to replace your carpets, but you didn't have it in the budget. Definitely. So we deep cleaned all of them. That's great. Including your area rugs. Wow. The area rugs? Yes. We were going to pitch that. I could see why. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was a little dirty. A little dirty. <laughs> yeah, so we, we left you with this amazing machine, which you can clean your upholstery with it. I know you got two kids. I know you guys entertain a lot. So this is the perfect thing for you. It looks incredible. It really does. So now you've got a fresh, clean new start. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Of course. So that's all I have for the surprises. And I'm going to get out of your hair and let you guys enjoy your beautiful new home. Well, thank was, you. It was more than enough. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, guys. Group hug. Group hug. The first woven carpet mill opened in Philadelphia in 1791. Watching the Myers family achieve the American dream has been a dream come true for us here at Operation Build. I know Randy and Laura have the kind of peace of mind that money just can't buy. And that means we've got a mission accomplished. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Until next time, I'm Alexi Panos.